my name is Dora Sweetalk and I'm the author of Flying Fingers. My website's at www.dorasweetalk.com. Today I'm teaching my friend and classmate Katie about poems, poem analyzing, and writing a poem in the style of the poem mentioned. Today we're going to be reading The Swing. Katie and I both uh, love The Swing. My favorite one is called uh, The Perilous Soy Dog, which means you go around and around. Uh, sometimes you'll get a little scraped elbow from the tree. But back to our poem. Oh. The swing. How do you like to go up on in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, do, oh, I do think it's the pleasantest, it, the pleasant thing ever a child can do, up in the air and over the wall till I can see so wide, rivers and trees, cattle and all over the countryside, till I look down on the garden green. Down on the roof so brown, up in the air I go, fly again, up in the air and down. Okay, so this is the swing by Robert Louis Stevenson. I'm going to swing it. How do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, why do you think it's the pleasantest thing ever a child can do? Up in the air and over the wall till I can see so wide, rivers and trees and cattle and all over the countryside. Till I look down at the garden green, down on the roof so brown. Up in the air I go flying again, up in the air and down. So, we're going to analyze this poem. So what do you notice about the rhyme scheme, Katie? Well, um, swing and thing. Okay. All so, rhyme. So, and blue and do. So it's and a, wall and all. Yeah, but these are in like swing, blue, thing, do. So it's a A, B, A, B rhyme scheme. Yeah. And... So when you're analyzing poems, you want to take note whether they rhyme or not, and what kind of rhyme scheme they have, if they do. So, um, this is a perfect, these are perfect rhymes, and can you tell me about the subject matter of the... The swing. Okay, the swing. And can you tell me maybe about what the person thinks about well, it? Well, they think it's like a joy and a pleasure. Yeah, it's so the high pleasantest thing a child can do up in the air so blue. Yeah. So, um... This is kind of a, a, like many other poems, it's sort of an ode to the thing mentioned, um, and the narrator really likes whatever is mentioned. So, after analyzing our poem, we're going to have a um, little, our own poem, writing our own style of poems, of a poem about sound we like, with an A, B, A, B rhyme scheme. And another thing you notice, um, what, what's, uh, what do you notice, anything else about the tone of it maybe um, well it's kind of like subtle and it flows well and kind of just all comes together okay so it all comes together and can you maybe just guess at the age of the narrator and by narrator i don't necessarily mean the author just the author is point of view author's like narrator maybe like a nine-year-old or seven okay so a child yeah so it's our childish like point of view with the little and it's, it sounds sort of like a child. Uh, and so we're going to write our A, B, A, B rhyming poem about something that we like in that kind of tone. <laughs> so what's something you really like? Like, um, I know that you like eating. I know that you like video games. Let's stay off video games for now. Oh, no problem. Um, so eating. Um, do you like swimming? Yeah, I like swimming. You like swimming. I like reading. You like reading? Great. Um, so, for instance, how about let's do reading. Drawing. Okay, or... Drawing. Which one? Uh, drawing. Okay, drawing. So, for an A B A B, what's 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 your first line? Uh, maybe. Um, I have a new color pencil. I have a new pencil set, and I can't wait to to use my paper or something no, like that. I have a new colored set. I can't wait to make my drawings come to life. I have a new colored set. I can't wait to. To, um, maybe have my pictures come to life. Okay, well, the syllables might be a little bit clunky, so a, a guideline that you want to keep in mind, maybe while you're doing poems, is that you want to have the right number of syllables so it sounds good. Um, maybe, I have a colored set, and, um, and I can't wait to start, or I can't wait to draw, and I can't wait to... To start. To start. Uh... To bring my pictures to life. Okay, actually, sorry. Um, since we have an A B A B, then saying what rhymes with set? Met. 
Okay. To draw pictures of pets. Uh, okay. To 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 draw of my pets. To do a drawing. To to paint a portrait of my pet. Yeah. Fart. Fart, fart rhymes is start. Okay. To fart. <laughs> oh, I blew away my paper with my fart. No, I'm kidding about that. First of all, it's too many syllables. Um, um, how about... Oh, I wish I could paint a fart. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, so... Um, my... My... My canvas is... Full of life is um oh vivacious okay vivacious uh what rhymes with vivacious though well that will come on our next line but for, and for our second line yeah. we need saying a b really b I mean not a literal b I mean as an a b a b rhyme scheme c um so my canvas is vivacious my brushes are ready to paint. My no. br oh, my brushes, um, my brushes have danced, um, my brushes have danced yeah. in joy. Yeah. My brushes have danced in joy. Vivacious, um, what rhymes with vivacious? I'm thinking of atrocious, but that would be a slant rhyme, so maybe, yeah. instead of vivacious for our first line, we can change it. My canvas is, um, is... I be typing. No, I'm not going to that. My canvas is is beautiful. Um, <gasps> my canvas is waiting. Anxious is anxious <laughs> is quite anxious. My brushes have danced in joy. Yeah, my brushes my are dancing in joy. My brushes are dancing in joy. So my canvas is quite anxious. My brushes are dancing and drawing anxious. Anxious. Hmm. Okay, how about my canvas, what I can use is do, uh, let's see, Microsoft Word synonyms. So nervous, worried, concerned, uneasy, apprehensive, restless, fretful, fearful. I am re restless. My canvas is quite restless. Okay. Petless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my picture is petless. My picture is still petless. Joy. Toy. Toy. Yeah, toy. Oh. Paintings a wonderful toy. Yeah. So this one's two lines, but it's similar to that. So we're gonna read it together. So I'll do the first line. You do the second line. I do the first line. Instead. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I have a colored set, and I can't wait to start to paint a portrait of my pet. Oh, I wish I could paint a fart. My canvas is restless. My brushes are dancing in joy. My picture is still petless. Oh, painting's a wonderful toy. Okay. So we're going to see this by Katie and the door a little bit. So I had a great time teaching you guys, and I hope that you'd like to watch it again. Be sure to go to my website, www.adorsvitalk.com.